Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's review. We are going to be going over some of the questions that we're going to have on the test tomorrow. Now, remember, all right, we are working on fractions and time. And fractions are all about equal shares. And time is all about looking at the numbers and that the hands are on. So we're going to review those while doing these questions. You ready? Let's go. All right. So we're looking at this. What fraction does this show? Look at it. How many equal sections does it have? What do you think? Our choices are A, one quarter, B, one half, C, one fourth, or D, one whole. Look at it carefully. Which one do you think? Is this one quarter? Hmm, one half, one fourth, or one whole? Absolutely, it is B, it's one half, because there's two parts and one of them is colored in. That's why the two is on the bottom. All right, nice job, that was B. All right, now we're out of time. It's gonna go back and forth, back and forth. What time is this? I'm noticing the shorthand, the hour hand is pointing to the one and the long minute hand is pointing to the 12. Hmm. I know that if the long hand is pointing to the 12, it's an o'clock. Hmm, and the hour hand is pointing to the one. So it's one o'clock. Which one of these is one o'clock? A, B, C, or D? Blow it into your hands. One o'clock is C. Very nice job. That clock shows one o'clock. All righty. We're back to fractions. Look at that circle. What fraction is showing with the blue? Which fraction is shown with the blue? A is one half. B is one half. C is one fourth and D is one whole. Hmm, I'm thinking how many equal sections are there? There's four. How many are colored? Just one. One out of four or one fourth. So the answer is C, very nice job, one fourth. All right, here's another time one. What time does this show? Look at the long hand, the minute hand, it's pointing down to the six and the short hour hand is pointing in the three o'clock hour because it's not to the four yet. It's still just at the three. Hmm. I heard somebody say it. All right, so A, half past three, six o'clock, half past six or three o'clock. Hmm. I know if I'm thinking of a, circle like a fraction. The line goes up and down like it's half. Ooh, half past what? The three. So the answer is A, half past three. Because the minute hand went halfway around the clock down to the six. So it went just a little bit past three. It's not to four o'clock yet, it's halfway. All right. Here's our fractions again. Hmm, what is the shaded area showing? A, is that one half? B, is it one half? Right, there's two different ways to write it. C, is it one fourth or D, four? Which one? There's four sections, but how many are shaded? Just the one. So that means it is one out of four or one fourth. C, nice job. Hey, there we go. All right, what time is this? Look where the long hour, minute hand is and the short hour hand. Let me look, give you your choices. A is half past four. B, 12 o'clock. C, half past 12. Or D, four o'clock. What time is it showing? Four o'clock, very nice job. 
All right, a fraction. What is it showing? Is that A, one quarter? Remember, a quarter is four, one fourth. Hmm, is that one fourth or one quarter? B, one half. C, one fourth. Or D, two. What fraction is this star showing? The shaded part. There's two sections, but how many are colored in? Just one. So it's one over two, one half. So that is B, right? B, one half. Nice job. All right, now look at this clock. What time does that show? Hmm, the long hand is pointing to the six. That's the minute hand. And the hour hand, the short one, is a little bit past the seven. Hmm, so is it A, 6.30, B, six o'clock, C, 7.30, or D, seven o'clock? What time is that? Hmm. All right, so we know it's a 30, right? Because it's half past. The half past what hour? Is it the six o'clock or the seven o'clock hour? It's a little bit past the seven. Nice job. So it is 7.30, which is A, B, or C. Which one says 7.30? A, B, C, or D? It is C. Nice job. I knew you got this. You're gonna be great. All right, so here's a challenge for you. How many ways can you shade in half of the rectangle? This is a challenge. It is. Hmm. So I want you to think of all the ways that you can shade these in. I don't know how to get out of here. Hmm. I know, because you can't see me drawing yet. Hmm. How many ways can you shade in half? There's lots of different ways. I don't know how to hit escape. I'm stuck in here, guys. All right. So I'm back, but I'm gonna try one more time so I don't mess this one up, huh? Let's find out. See, I did it again. How? Oh. oh, wait, 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 wait. All right, can I escape? I don't know, guys. Hmm. All right, so your job right now is to draw some rectangles and practice shading them in half. There's different ways. How are you going to break them up into two equal pieces? You can cut them this way, draw a line this way. You can draw a line this way. You can draw a line diagonal, but then what part are you going to shade in? You're going to shade in this side or this side or the top or the bottom. There's so many different ways. All right. So even if you cut it this way, you could either shade in this side or you can shade in this side. Hmm, I bet that's two ways right there. Can you think of more ways? Go ahead and draw it. That's your challenge, okay? All right, my friends. It was wonderful seeing you today and reviewing with you. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Hmm. Math makes my brain work hard. I love it. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow and I hope you have a fantastic day and night. Talk to you later. Bye.